Hey guys, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com with another 5 minutes to a better mix tutorial and we're looking at 31 mixing tips in 31 days. Thanks for joining us. I got another drum tip for you today and this one involves getting your arrangement to change and getting a cool dynamic in your mix to change things up by simply featuring your compressed room mic sound. Now if you didn't record with a room mic or a pair of room mics, you're a little out of luck for this tip. Uh, but next time if you experiment with a room mic, this is a great way to easily not even have to use any effects or any plugins or anything like that to get a really um, gritty industrial raw drum sound for a few bars in your mix which can really change up the feel and then when the nice clean studio process drums come back in, you change it back up. Let me show you an example of a song where I did this recently and I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy. Here I'm coming out of a rocking part into sort of a mellow bridge. All right, you get the idea. And what I want to do is have the room mic be the only drum sound starting on that bridge. Right on the downbeat, pretty much up until um, the second half of the bridge where it builds back up. All right, so right on the snare hits there. So what I'm going to do is select from there where I want to come back in all the way to the beginning of the bridge on the downbeat. This is the section that I want all the close drum mics, kicks, snare, toms, and overheads to be muted. So what I'm going to do, and I'll show you this in Pro Tools, it's the same concept in any major DAW. All we're doing is some mute automation, and it works almost identical. I'm in a drum group, meaning all my drum mics are grouped together so I can just do one edit and it affects them all. Select the area I want to edit, and I flip over to my mute automation lane in Pro Tools and all that allows me to do is one thing mute it or unmute it and so I'm going to click and drag all the tracks so they are muted from the beginning of the bridge to when the snare hit comes back in now of course I need to undo that for the room mic so I get out of my drum group and I'll make sure I bring my room mic back up because that's the only one that I want to stay audible so right now all we've done is muted the close mic tracks All right, not too helpful yet because what we need to do is bring up the volume of the room mic. So grab, I'm going to grab the same selection in time and I'm going to drag up and automate the volume to, you know, be minus 16 or so. So 10 dB higher. So substantially hotter because it will be the only source of our drum sound. Let's take a listen. Pretty darn cool. Changes it up, goes from stereo and full and clean to a mono, crunchy, wet sound. The only thing that you may want to tweak is the transition going into the downbeat. We've lost the crash that he hit on the downbeat because we've muted the overheads and I didn't like the crash sound in my original uh, room mic. If you listen back, I'll drag this back. So I didn't really like the sound of the overly compressed cymbal crash. So all I did was simply copy a section of the beat earlier and paste it on the downbeat so it just starts right on the beat. Now to make the transition a little smoother, I will use the overhead. So what you can do is come back to your mute automation, select your overhead track, and I'm going to just bring the first bar and unmute it. You hear that? So you get a little bit of the crash that you're familiar with, but it instantly is out of the way and it's just the room mic focus. And right there, what I may want to do when the snare comes back in, 
is keep this automation on the volume of the room mic up a little bit. Because I love the sound of that room mic. Let's take a listen. And that's it. That's automating your drum tracks to open up just your overly compressed room mic so you get a totally different dynamic for just a certain section of the song. You don't have to create the effect. Like I said, you can just simply feature one of your already recorded drum tracks and allow your mix to have some more diversity and keep the listener interested all the way through. I hope that helps you guys. Again, this is Graham at therecordingrevolution.com with five minutes to a better mix, and we will definitely see you on the next video.